Dixon who stops him, Tangata having a little bit more of an effect and there's a problem there for Danny Kermond I'm not sure whether that's a dislocated finger perhaps but Halifax are not hanging about to uh, wait and see as it's the last tackle there almost in the red zone Jufre will kick across field it's coming down towards Wormsley and Arundel Wormsley's tapped it back Halifax trying to keep it alive and Tangata looking for the option of a pass but uh, well Joe Brown is uh, taking Wormsley out there as he gets York near the Halifax line moving the ball about Ellis a long pass out and they've got men on that side Antrobus going for the corner well that will hearten the uh, York City Knights supporters what a tremendous run by Antrobus but good defence by Halifax managing to hold him up well they know the danger posed by him they might not have known much about him before this game is that a knock on Ben Taylor's had a look at his officials and the kick through finds Halifax Well, Liam Harris, obviously, being a part of the Halifax team last season. Perhaps knows some of the frailties of this Halifax team. Jamie Ellis, who's kicked 22 goals this season, make that 23. But again, they've got to bring it away. And close to their own line, Saltonsall gets the offload away to Jufre, and Jufre gets it to Joe Ke uh, Woodburn all, Woodburn all has Wormsley inside him, and Wormsley will go for the line, Brown's not going to catch him, Wormsley dives over, and celebrates with the Halifax crowd, so a good play by Saltonsall, got the pass away, and Woodburn all went turning through a gap in the York defence, and the defenders coming back but once it got into the hands of Wormsley nobody was going to catch him Brown was too far away and Halifax have hit back for the first time they've been in the uh, red zone with the ball but they had to do it the hard way from, the, uh, from inside their own half and Halifax supporters quite happy now I'm trying to cheer the team on already he's had some from the touchline in recent weeks which he's managed to get and these could be all important today can't afford to miss any and doesn't miss that one and the scores all locked up with York City Knights 6 Halifax Panthers 6 more purposeful this from Halifax as they manage to make metres with defenders on them Saltonstall not so for him there were three waiting for him but Halifax are almost up to halfway Joe Keys gets it to Tangata and Tangata steps inside too and Tangata's charging towards the line but a great tackle by the fullback Marsh Halifax looking out quick wide quick while uh, well the referee listening to the scream of the York supporters saying the part long pass out wide was forward. It probably was. It was, uh, it was a Harbour Bridge pass over the top. Halifax on their own line with work to do. It's, uh, Marcus Stock to throw that one up. Or Dick Rowan and Dixon rather. Ellis kicks off the side of the foot and it's cleared up hopefully for Halifax but again having to come out of their own red zone that's a high tackle so a piggyback penalty out of a, a dangerous position for Halifax And a good clearing kick into touch from Keys brings Halifax to the 
just beyond the 30 metre line in there half of the field Barber to Tangata and Guazi has dropped the ball he's only just come on the field Woodburn all's dropped it and York have got a massive advantage well they only need somebody there and somebody's off in the bin from the Halifax side Louis Jufre Rudy's look tried to slow it down but caught by the referee so will York go for a penalty to take the lead or will they try and put the pressure on against the 12-man Halifax now back to the other side of the field but the drop-off pass and they're going again to that left-hand side where the first tackle was brushed away Ellis Ellis gets it away to Teambe and Teambe is over for the try Halifax punished for their indiscretions and dispatches that one over the stand the right hand side Short pass to the left hand side from Jubb. Halifax waiting in defence. Ben Thaler signals the last tackle again. Ellis up into the air, testing Woodburn Hall. Oh, the pressure on Woodburn Hall, and it could be another Halli New York try. Well, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Well, I am now Halifax have another man in the same bin. Surely now there must be a thought of a, a two points, but they're not uh, entertaining that. Here comes Team B again. Halifax are going to have to work extra hard in defence now. Two men down. And another score. Oh, and could be problems here. Ellis gets it away to Mars. And Halifax just don't have the numbers out wide. 16 points to 6 down and Ellis well he doesn't miss many and he hasn't missed that one well they're up to 12 this time can they uh, prevent York getting over the line again York and uh, pushing forward Ellis Gets his pass away, York almost on the Halifax line, they're calling out for the left again. Thompson gets it away to Harris. Oh, Harris has thrown it into the hand of Wormsley. And, well, Wormsley's on his way. He's a chaser after him. It's Joe Brown and Wormsley. Well, he's, uh, he's strolled in from halfway for his second as uh, Lachlan Wormsley, but Harris tried the uh, Hail Mary pass over the top for Halifax would be lighting defenders on the outside Lachlan Wormsley well he must have been confident that Paul was going to get nowhere near him but for all his effort he was getting closer but Wormsley slowed down when he knew that uh, the four points were in the bag with his second try of the afternoon kick that uh, he should be able to put over with his slippers on but no guarantees nowadays Joe Keyes has put the ball over the York City uprights and well, Joe, uh, James Woodburn all receiving some treatment again from the uh, Halifax medical staff and you probably could say that's against the runner play 30 metre line, Kyle Wood on as a replacement, Ed Barber goes inside, Glover dragging the shirt Quasi will have another run at the York defence, takes it over halfway, 5 metres into York territory Ben Thaler indicates the last tackle 
So Joe Keyes, oh he's got, he hasn't gone for the kick. He's got inside Brandon Moore and if Moore can get there, surely he's over the line. And Joe Keyes has totally outplayed the defence with a brilliant bit of individual skill. The York City Knights dropping back for the kick, which of Halifax have used on the last tackle all the first half. And Joe Keyes saw a gap, I'll go on my own, went through it. And Brandon Moore following him, reading the script. And Brandon Moore has given a try, which has brought Halifax right back into this game. In 12, man Halifax have hit back with two tries to put themselves right back in this game. What a scintillating piece of play from Joe Keyes at his best. And there were a few fists being shaken in frustration in the York defence at letting that try in. And Joe Keyes has added on the extras that makes it York City Knights 18. Halifax Panthers 18. Well, it didn't look good for Halifax when they went down to 11 men and conceded a try. But Halifax is showing a real spirit to get back into this game. Long deep kick has disappeared over the goal line. And I think that was uh, James Glover that did that. Put the ball straight out on the on the full. It's a penalty to Halifax. Injury. And uh, James Woodburn all as Leroya drives it in again. Trying to punch holes in this defence. Keys to Jules Frey around the back to Woodburn Hall. Woodburn Hall's done it again. It's an exact copy of the try he scored last week. He left Jamie Ellis on the floor and skirted through the uh, York defence. Two tries in two weeks in exactly the same fashion for James Woodburn Hall. Wow, three tries in ten minutes for Halifax. Quasi to Jufre. Jufre turns it back inside to Garside. Garside look for Woodburn, just couldn't get the pass away. It's the last tackle. Kyle Wood finds Joe Keys and Keys looks for space down the field. Hopefully it'll stop in the goal area and it does. And Halifax are up there and Joe Keyes makes a great tackle on Joe Brown. Halifax have lost it again. They've missed the tackle. And Marsh the fullback again. Causing problems for the Halifax defence. And Halifax still have men coming back. Well, they really need to watch uh, this fullback Marsh is uh, threatening to bring the ball back from the last kick return, only to find Jufre on the floor in his way, and almost went through there as well. So nervous times for Halifax. Ten minutes gone in the second half. The last tackle again. Harris out towards the touch. Well, it's uh, it's holding up in the wind, and Harris has got it back. And Joe Keyes is probably going to have to save and does save Halifax's bacon by getting back in goal and touching it down. Referee says get up and play the ball. Dixon brought down nine metres away. Halifax still clinging by the fingernails to this four point lead. Can they hang on to it? Harris. Harris has managed to get over. And I think the target then was uh, Joe Kitty. Well, it's James Woodburn all that's down, but 
I think they might have been lucky around for Joe Keys with him just being injured. Lining up this kick, can he find the mark? He has done. Taking it forward, Halifax now edging towards the York line, Garside. Just, uh, Ellis in the tackle, but the uh, numbers are there for York. Woodburn all, Murray drives it up to the line, it's last tackle, and in the air from Ben Thaler who stood underneath the York City Knights post. Can Halifax make this one count? Keys with a kick into the in goal area. And now it's Halifax's turn to get the ball back from the dropout under the post. Joe Keys, Jufre into the line, over the top. Salt and Stall will take it. Goes back inside, meandering along the the line, gets the pass away, and Halifax are they over? Oh, held up over the line. Well, Solensdal really had no right to go as far as he did. But it nearly resulted in a, another Halifax try. Barber must have played the ball. Tangata's going to have another go at that line. Halifax looking to open up a little bit of space in this. Well, there's a chance there, and damn... Dan Murray has somehow got the ball down. There was a, a mud, amid the silence, there was a lone shout from Halifax player in jubilation at the try, and Ben Thaler had a look. And Dan Murray has put the lead back in Halifax's favour. Third try of the season for Dan Murray. A light team be close to the line, hard and strong, gets the ball down. Halifax retake the lead, it's York City Knights 24, Halifax 26. Well, it's uh, just about everything as uh, this game. It's had entertainment and skill, it's had power. And also uh, a little bit of controversy, I suppose, when Halifax were down to 11 men, but they've managed to... Uh, regroup and no problem for Joe Keys this time so York City Knights 24 Halifax 28 four point game and it's anybody's at the moment it really is as he carries up a little bit further towards the Halifax 40 Joe Keys is off again Joe Keys through the middle again, Joe Keyes has Jufre with him on the right hand side but he's taken the tackle the word defenders coming back for York City Knights Ed Barber looking for a way through well I don't know what looks like Barber might have lost it over the line he saw the gap very late and went for it Joe Keys to Tangata will take him to the York defence and once again an extra metre or two the legs keep driving in the tackle Joe Keys, oh great long ball out to Woodburn all Woodburn all to Wormsley Wormsley in for the hat trick well the York had options of overlaps with the two man advantage in the first half when Harris threw the pass to the wrong side and Wormsley intercepted it and went almost the length of the field. Well, Halifax created it this time by drawing the York defence into the middle, leaving Wormsley unopposed on the outside. Great pass from Woodburn all. And still plenty of time for more. Kick from Keyes has gone over and the lead goes to 10 points York City Knights 24 Halifax 
Panthers 34, 